Hey there, fella. Ah, who are you? That doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? Do you feel like your voice has been heard as a citizen? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, your opinion doesn't matter. What? It has very little impact on what becomes law. Like none. Completely insignificant. Zilch. Zero. Here's some data collected by researchers at Cambridge University. That line is almost horizontal. A law that has absolutely no support has the same chance of becoming law as a law that is supported by nearly everyone. Ah, jeez. You know who they do care about, though? No. Extremely wealthy people and corporations. Here's a graph by the same researchers. It is far more likely for them to get what they want, and if they don't want something, it just doesn't happen. Oh. Uh. Every year, billions of dollars are spent on influencing politicians into doing and saying what they want. Oh man. Your government is practically bought and paid for. And how is that allowed? Well, that would be because they call it lobbying instead of corruption. Of course, with all that influence they're getting, and something out of right. it. For every dollar they spend the influencing the government, for they get it back is. hundreds uh, of times over. Maybe the two or three times? Grants and contracts that are nope, funded by your not tax even dollars. close. They push for how much is it? Them, while over all hundreds of times. That's right. For every dollar they spend influencing the government, they get it back hundreds of times over. The government gives them grants and contracts that are funded by your tax dollars. They push for regulations that benefit them while also hurting others. Some, exa some examples include Intuit lobbying the IRS to ensure that they don't develop a free and simple way to file taxes so people have to buy tax prep software like Intuit's TurboTax. Disney lobbying the government to extend the length of copyright protections twice. Oil companies lobbying against global warming concerns. Recent lobbying against lab-grown meat. And healthcare! Is it really possible to fix things? Well, obviously you can't get legislators to do something that would lose them money. It's so over. But not all hope is lost. You would need to pass laws using the ballot initiative process. The what? The ballot initiative process allows normal citizens to pass laws through petitioning and then voting for them. Passing anti-corruption laws at the local and city levels will allow the laws to go on to pass them at the state level, and finally, with enough states enacting these laws and politicians put in place with these laws, a complete federal victory could be achieved. Wowzers! Head over to https colon slash anticorruptionact.org.